Hey everybody, I'm Lauren Lowry, live in the WSMV4 Now studio. We have some breaking news that we're following in the newsroom as we speak. It has to do with a woman who's been missing. Her body has been found. Police have just released this new information. I want to get you up to speed on that story because it has been a big one this week. We're talking about uh, the body of Chase Stafford. She's the 25 year old woman. Uh, she went missing in Cheatham County uh, a little over a week ago. As of this recording, it's May 19th. The last time she was seen was around May 10th, May 11th. And so now police are asking, hey, if you know anything about that time, please let us know what you know and what you might remember. So just yesterday we were following more breaking news and it turns out that news was connected to this story. We had learned that a body had been found in the Cumberland River right there at the Cheatham Dam. And what, what had happened was they were opening some of the gates to try to move some of the debris because things had gotten clogged in the dam. Once they opened the gates, they realized it was a body that was clogging the dam. They take the body, they begin doing testing, and that's when today, just in the last 30 minutes from when I'm recording here, that's when they learned the body is that of this missing 25 year old Chase Stafford. Now, if you'll remember, uh, just even over the weekend, we were already telling you about the story about how the 25 year old had been with her boyfriend um, and a bag even belonging to her was brought to the sheriff's office and the bag was filled with clothes and glasses, even her cell phone, which I mean, everybody knows at this point in time to leave somewhere and not be with your cell phone is unusual. But on May 10th, some of her stuff was found. This was along Chapmansboro Road in the middle of the road. Uh, a person stopped and picked those things up and then took it to the sheriff's department and said, hey, I don't know what this is, but uh, you know, I think it has to do with this missing person. But her boyfriend had said that he uh, had been driving with her and at one point she just asked to stop and get out of the car and that was the last he saw of her. So at this point, I want to tell you what uh, police are saying because the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office in their criminal investigation division is saying that that her body was recovered yesterday and it is her remains and they'd apparently been trapped under the debris and had accumulated in front of the dam. I'm reading to you the exact statement from the Cheatham County Sheriff's Office criminal investigation right now as we speak. Let me keep going for you. The remains had been found apparently trapped and during routine clearing of the debris, they were opening the floodgates and her body was able to rise to the surface. The Tennessee Medical Examiner's Office was able to confirm her identity today and the cause and manner of that death have not been determined at this point. So obviously this is a big, big story, right? This is something we've been covering for over a week before we were curious, where is this woman? Police were searching. You saw all of this rescue video just moments ago I was showing you as people were just looking for where she might be. And then, of course, with that news yesterday that a body had risen to the surface, this is the new information now that just within the last 30 minutes, again, as I'm recording this, 30 minutes ago, we got official word that the body had been identified right there at the Cheatham Dam, yep. and it is that of 25-year-old Chase Stafford. Right now, you're looking at uh, some, of the, some of the search and rescue video, as well as some of the efforts uh, that have been put together just to search for this woman who, again, someone had found a bag of her belongings right there on the road. It had her cell phone in it. It had clothes of hers. It had glasses. Again, her cell phone part of that, which is a which is a big deal in this day and time for someone to not be with their cell phone at any point. Uh, it'll be interesting to see right now as we move forward some of the questions that investigators are going to have to answer. One of those is what happened to her? The major one, how did she end up in the Cumberland River to, to begin with? And is there someone else? who may be at fault here. They have said nothing about persons of interest. They have said nothing about whether anyone else is part of their investigation right now. Uh, certainly in matters such as this, they're gonna start with the boyfriend. They're gonna start with whoever last saw this woman alive. It seems as though it might've been the boyfriend at this point, but that's also why police have said, hey, if you saw her between May 9th and May 11th, we wanna hear from you. Another one of the questions they're going to be looking at and asking, it probably centers around her cell phone. What were the last text messages she sent? What were the last phone calls she made? When, when was the last activity? And how can they use some of that to decipher what her final moments may have been like? There might be pictures even on that cell phone that give them some information that would be a window into those final hours. Uh, but again, we're talking about Chase Stafford here. I want to bring her photo up for you again. This is the 
five year old who went missing several days ago. There were search and rescue efforts that were happening around Cheatham County, but it was just yesterday that a body had been found. It had been lodged there at the Cheatham Dam, you know, where the uh, Cumberland River flows into. And as we learned, it was routine cleaning that had to happen. Now, there had been a buildup of debris. And when that gate had been opened to allow for the flow to go again, that's when the body rose to the surface. We reported it to you yesterday, uh, but then again today, that's when the body has now officially been identified. Uh, so many questions still yet to answer. This is a, a big story that we will continue to follow here for you on WSMV, also on our free WSMV4 app. And then here you can look for us on the WSMV4 Now studio. If anything new comes down, again, any persons of interest, any missing pieces to this puzzle that police want your help with, we'll be sure to bring it to you right there. Uh, for now, I'm Lauren Lowry in the WSMV4 Now studio. I uh, will see you on the app anytime.